Hi, I'm Adam Zaret with We Light Up the Night. And today we're going to talk about how to avoid overloading outdoor Christmas lights. Two important things to keep in mind when stringing your outdoor Christmas lights. The first is that each light string has a maximum recommended number of continuous strings that you're allowed to connect in a series. What that means is even though there is a female and a male plug at the end of each string, you can only connect a limited number of strings together before you exceed the rating and the capacity on the wires and the fuses inside the string. The number of strings that you're allowed to connect together should be printed on the material that comes with each string of lights. The second important thing to remember while connecting Christmas lights to ensure that we don't overload a breaker is to monitor and not to exceed the maximum number of amps on a breaker by the connected lights. The easiest way to do that is using a device called an amp meter. An amp meter similar to the one shown here is connected to an outlet or an extension cord like this and then Christmas light strings can be connected to the front of the amp meter. The amp meter will tell us numerically exactly how much power is being pulled by the sum of whatever is connected to the front of the unit. Keeping this number equal to or lower than the number written on the breaker will ensure that we do not overload the breaker with too many light strings. Most residential electrical breakers are capable of handling up to 15 amps of power. As you can see by the meter here, we are currently drawing 0.2 amps of electrical power. That means we're well within the safe limit of the breaker. I'm Adam Zaret with We Light Up the Night. And thanks for watching How to Avoid Overloading Outdoor Christmas Lights.